All right, we are going to. So I'm ready to enter the contest. What? 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 Very good. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's I've assigned that. you to the gate suite. Please that, enjoy that your line stay. That doesn't make any sense. Watch this stuff that was made by Americans. All three of us in one room. Oh, nice. I wonder what would happen if some talent agent scouts me in the contest and makes me into a big music star. Here's my question. Y'all not fighting with me, right? I wonder if we'll see Diaz there. We haven't seen him in any of the towns we've been to. I mean, he went from. The, he said he was going. He said he was. He said he wanted some practice before this. So he was probably out training and shit. Probably out in the mountain. And I was in the mountain. Well, no, I went in the mountains the whole time. So he could have been in the mountains training and shit. That'd be the best place to train. Really, where we got to level 70, I believe, out of level 100. Like, we are 30 levels away from being max level. And I don't think we're third. I don't think we're even halfway. We're not. We're definitely not halfway. I don't think we're third to two fifths of the way two fifths to a third of the way through the game i don't think so i think we're still really early on i got per uh percy she was level 18. level 18 while i was level 50 already so i think i think we are my name is anyways plus he said he was coming here so he probably went straight here this is when okay i was like it gets weird that he doesn't know what happened but now i was like oh that's right she's pacing around and she ends up leaving like time slows down to a crawl whenever you're waiting for something big to happen. All you're doing is walking back and forth. It's gonna feel like that. What you're are you in so small room. About Reina? It's not like you're the one fighting. Literally. You're right. I suppose I am acting a little strange, aren't I? Yeah. Reina. I I make you all nervous when I'm around, don't I, Claude? What? I'm gonna go out and walk around for a bit then. What? No one said that. You don't have to be so worried about me. Hmm. You really think that's all there is to it? What? What was his name? Diaz? Yes, exactly. The other guy in the tournament? That's probably who's on her mind right now. Exactly. I wonder. You don't gotta wonder. What do you think would happen if they ran into each other? It'd be like drama come to life. And no she's... wonder she's so excited. Excited. Diaz is a pretty big catch too, isn't he? If I were her, I'd probably be in a total panic right about now. You see, he, even she already caught on to that. And she doesn't even, she doesn't even know about the fact that when Rina fucking dished us for homeboy. Like, literally, like Rina flips, she completely flips. She flips switch. And it's again, when I started off, I was like, it's weird that everyone thinking I was her boyfriend because how attached, because they thought that she was attached to me like she was with Diaz apparently who everyone would obviously reference towards as her boyfriend even if she would deny it it was pretty obvious that that's what was going on even if she can claim it not that's not what it is she could just be denying it she could be in denial and she also could just not think of it that way it's like no that's just how I feel I'm like you are you're an alien from a different planet you should trust the people of native when they're saying your feelings this is what we call these feelings <laughs> Whatever. I need to focus on something else right now. I think Celine would have said something like that too. What? Oh, wow, wow. Nothing. If you want to say something, just spit it out already. Why are you mad? Oh, no, never, never mind. Never mind. She's probably like, bitch, I'm Ugh. here too. It's supposed to be nighttime yet? Reina came back a while later, looking all depressed and dejected. She seemed lost in her own little world until the contest began. Some friend, right? But again, when... Oh, whoa! The day finally dawned on the Liqueur Armory contest. This is what they the town for. was alive with excitement. Every street and thoroughfare packed with feverish crowds of people. Remember the slow cut through the city. One after another. The tournament contestants filed into Lacour Castle. It wouldn't be long before I'd be joining them. I don't get why they did this part. Other than to show off the castle, I believe. Oh, what? Well, I'm all set. I'll be heading off for Lacour Castle soon. Try not to worry too much about things, okay, Claude? I'll yeah, be sure. fine. I feel a lot better. 
You Oops, sure? Sorry. You can't hide anything from my razor sharp vision, you know. Like how you're clipping through that chair right Don't now? Don't worry. I really feel like I've got a chance to win today. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no one literally, I mean, Clyde, like, you're level 71, my guy. I don't think there's anybody, I don't think there's many people who, who's going to fuck with you, my guy. I mean, change so. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so, my man. Perhaps you might want to enter a cover for us today. I mean, I just wanted to say hello. Fuck you too, homie. Hello. You can give yourself, you can give yourself as well as you put ores. And precious material. In other words, there are more than just ornaments and materials crafting. Oh yeah, you put on that bitch is breaking the whole fucking game out. You guys realize that she that's fucking fourth wall. Some of souvenirs from Grand Church. I'm sorry, but okay, yeah. Oh wait. Yeah, literally shit. If that's all you've got, you should at least offer a discount. I mean, she has a point. Yep, thank you. Same person. What is the reason why you can't get home, girl? What's her name? Sorry, for the O. Have not ever pretty action. It's in the city across. It's in the cross for the first time. So it's President Conquest got three eyes. I've seen it before. Look her before. Look her. Look her on the contest when you're done. With the recover contest, head to the note to the bar. Head to the note. The group will discuss the three items you saw earlier. Soon after, head back to cross. Talk to the king. If I make up three eyes, well, then you will go to the dungeon. Yes, I remember all that, but the timing of these two events are at almost at the exact same time. That's the problem. That's where the problem is. And for me to get Welch, I have to... For me... in my group so yeah i have to get her right before the call and this is the place grandpa's not here though this whole thing is story but i have no idea about it because i'm not a girl <laughs> i'm not reading that's only on reading side That's interesting. I can hear their footsteps. Let me come to say what you will make pop you like an mommy. You know what for? Yep. Hope you get all real sweated. I bet she I bet you lick the fucking equipment. I don't know why I said that, but that's gross, but I bet she fucking does. I bet she licks the equipment when she gets it back from her fucking people. She oh freak. She freak. Yay! Oh sweet, it went down. Hey, bounce! Wow, wow! doing over again? Freak! Oh, let me show you why I call them fraud. This is the PlayStation ones. These are the PlayStation. These are the ones I like. I know I'm keeping on. These are the new ones. They look cool and all. And these just look like booty. Um, this is the OG ones. But look at his arm. Crod C. King <laughs> Jerry Bean. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. I never saw that when I was growing up. Or if I did, I don't remember making fun of it. I probably didn't even realize that it was something. I probably thought that just I was like, I can't, I don't understand the pixels. Uh, okay, let's go. Do -do -do. Oh, wait, let me talk to you. Nope, you don't have any more voice acting. Shit, no. Don't have any more voice acting. What? Wait. What is that? There's like a long way. Yes, a long way to go around. 
just go straight forward and go down. Hey, more people now. I was uh, wondering if you would accept this gift and give it over to that guy over there. I was wondering if you if I can get an autograph. Not no, not you. The next guy over there. What? There's no guy over there. They come with a guard? Oh my lord. How is it 37% chance? Like a percent at a time? Never. Jesus. Bruh. What? I have six of these. Why didn't it, why, why was that 30% so fucking hard? No, it's not too shabby, it's not too shabby. This guy? He's a combatant. Oh. It is. Did it, did it, did it. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If I do it eight times. That means it's not 20. I'm, if I do it eight times and I don't get it, it's not 25%. Motherfucker. That's not how this shit works. Okay, uh, I guess so, actually. Random is right like Um. I don't think I really need to care too much about the publication stuff. I'm gonna do the game. Orchestra. Publication. Here goes. Wow. Wow. Here it goes. Wow. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Right at the end. Okay. That's that was fucked. And that would match them up. So, well, she got the hearts before homegirl, but even though I put it on her, whatever. No, Excuse actually, me. I'm participating in the I tournament. I want to talk to more people. I didn't mean to talk to you. Your name? Crod C. Kinney. Claude C. Kinney. Kenny. Ah, uh, yes. First of all, please give me all of your weapons and items. Will Bro, you, you can't handle them this. here for you. Literally, if I give you all my actual shit. You could destroy this fucking castle. I don't think you understand, but it's okay. I'll give you, I'll give you it. But you better not do nothing with it. Wait, you mean you tell me you fit all my shit in all a right. cupboard? Now I'll give you the equipment sent to us by your sponsoring weapon shop. You'll receive the rest of your usable what? items before the battle begins. What? So check with the arena agent for details. For now, you're all set. Please relax in the waiting room until the tournament begins. Okey -dokey. Thank you. Look at Diaz. Excuse me, has my weapon arrived yet? You're Diaz Flack, right? I'm sorry, we haven't received anything from your weapon shop. How much time do I have? Well, given the circumstances, we'll extend the deadline to just before the start of your first match. Would you perhaps be able to visit your weapon shop and see what the situation is? The old man? The old people that won't let me talk to them? The place I went that was just completely fucking empty? I wonder what's going on. I wonder if fucking Rena knows, but hasn't talked to me or anybody in a fucking group who we're supposed to be trying to understand stuff because we are both not from this planet. We're both trying to try to figure out what's going on and the Sorcerer Globe is not from this planet and it's causing all this stuff. 
But what we're not doing is communicating with each other, telling each other about stuff that's going on, how we feel, or the side stuff we're doing apparently. Because why would we communicate what's going on and compare what our experience is and try to work as a team when we could just be fucking idiots? I don't need you to remind me. Diaz! Reyna, what do you want? Is Gamgee's weapon here yet? What's it to you? Everything! I'm the one who introduced you to him. Introduced him? What's all this about, Rain? Uh. It's I mean, like how she's acting. She is was weird. just in the right place at the right time. Nothing to get jealous over, Claude. You know what's getting jealous? It's just confusing because we don't know what the fuck's going on. We were just in a room together for apparently the whole day and night, and we don't know what the fuck is going on. That's not jealousy. That's a literal concern of like what's happening. What? 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 Stop thinking about it. It's my problem, not yours. No one gives a fuck about you, homie. I'm and then sorry. Reina. I need to go with Diaz for a moment. Reina? Like what the fuck are you talking Diaz about? Diaz can't fight in the tournament without a weapon. You don't want to lose your chance to fight him, do you? What can I give a fuck about that? We're trying to fucking what do a tournament. What are you waiting tournament. for? Go if he means that much to you. Claude, it's not like that. It's literally like that. Everyone you've met has said it's like that. You can't be the. You can't say the world is wrong when you're the one doing it. No one's saying it from anybody else's actions. But again, in this part, it's a little dancing over things where Claude is getting a little what you call it. But if you listen to the wording, how they're talking, it's they're gaslighting him almost. But he's also he's also a fucking idiot. Um. And it's like again, where's the communication? Well, this could have been com out weapons for Diaz. Whose side are you on here anyway? This could have been completely negated if you just communicated with him. Claude, why are you saying this? Why do you think, Reyna? Because he's an idiot. Oh, come on, Claude. You went way too far. I didn't like how you dealt with that at all. Why didn't you say something? What did I do? I don't know. I can't speak for Reyna, but I'd be pretty shocked if someone yelled at me like that. You don't have to raggle me like this. Sheesh. You were the one ragging on Reyna, I think. Communication. Claude's an idiot. Yeah, he shouldn't have yelled, but at the same time, it's like no one reacted, so I don't think he yelled that loud. They're in a freaking place where there's a bunch of people and kids. You know, I know storyline, whatever, they probably wouldn't do all that. But it's also like, again, communication. And Rena, you, the other scene with Rena, this is now again where she's ditching Claude during an event or something going on that's supposed to be important. And they're also not necessarily about the fucking sorcery globe. <laughs> Ouch. And if you learn anything, what we learn when we go through the storyline arena about DS, it's it kind of doesn't make any it doesn't make sense still, but it gives a little bit more to it. But Arena is weird. Like her decision making skills are horrible. And again, I it's because she's in denial like even if she doesn't like him like that any of me she doesn't like anybody like that she needs to understand how her actions and what she's doing is like hey you, you you're you're all over the place you're, you're you're fucking all over the place so it's like not literally fucking over because you're all over the place like what's going like you and you're not communicating with people in between these places you're all over so you're just there then you're there and you're there and Claude's a fucking idiot who's an alien from a different planet. And the fact is, he's so he's not this place is not on the Galactic Federation bullshit, whatever. So this planet that he's at, he doesn't even know if they're fucking humans. Like he never questions if these people around him that look like humans are fucking humans. And then when these events happen, I'm so kind of like complex where it's like, yeah, he's a fucking idiot. And the people around him don't know that he's an alien because he doesn't communicate like i'm i'm we'll just say it 
I am investigating the Sorcerer's Stone because it's from a different planet and it seems we have these properties of other stuff. And I'm from another planet. Rena's from, we don't know where Rena's from. Her mom found her in the Sacred Forest. So me and Rena, Rena I doesn't know she's from a different planet. I, believe. I know she's from a different planet only because I played the game enough to remember that. Spoiler, I guess, but at the same time, I've been saying it from the beginning and I already know it and it's Rena's obviously not from here. Even her mom, the mayor, everyone knows she's not from here. And then the symbolism stuff where she doesn't have to have the patterns to cast her spells and she can heal where everyone says that's not possible. They do not have healing powers. The ability to cast spells is not the ability to heal. Rena herself is completely different from every factor of this world. And she was going to die or be manipulated by the, uh, the stone because she got kidnapped by Alan in the beginning of the game. Or she would have been pummeled and crippled or, yeah, killed, crippled, or mauled or something. When she was literally about to be attacked by uh, an ape thing. Now, is it possible that him arriving there somehow distracted her? Or just weirdly, like, well, it's a video game, so we know why it happened. But... In reality, it have been like, it's just a chain of events where he was there. So the energy, whatever, she went over there because she normally goes through the forest, but she went over there maybe. And the monkey also was going that way because he was either following her or he felt the energy surge of somebody coming or he smelled Clyde. Either way, she, either way, when he first met her, she had a monkey dude right behind her about to beat the shit out of her. She would have been dead, hurt, whatever. And then after that, I go to the town, come back. She's kidnapped by a dude who has thugs and shit and took over the mining area and he turns into a giant fucking monster because he had her chained up in some freak shit underneath his shit in a cathedral and shit like that. He had the thugs build him a cathedral like a wedding type shit, but it had this altar on it with fucking chains and shit. And even had a sword. It was too long to be a sacrificial sword, but a, a sword on display on the other side. And it's like, bro, whoa, what the fuck? and the the thing manipulates people it does so and she wasn't breaking free at all she was stuck there he saved her life twice in the beginning of the game practically that's another thing about all this clyde has saved her ass over and over and so far through the storyline only the only reason why we say she heals i mean she's helped him is because she's the only healer that we have she can heal she's the only person who can fucking heal in the game not nah, for now because i think i think later on uh spells can heal but i don't think the, i don't know actually maybe she is literally the only healer in the entire game her and clyde are the main characters of the game they are both main characters the one is not the main character over the other you could play one story you will play the other you get through the same thing but you'll see different stuff I mean, you'll also learn that they don't fucking communicate and that's literally what a bunch of these problems coming from and they're both fucking idiots um but anyways they make rena way more emotional than a real person i believe would be. no i take that back more emotional than a person in her situation or real person in her situation would be especially when she had to accept and acknowledge certain things like from our side from clyde we only saw that she heard that thing afterwards stuff like that but from her side obviously there's more stuff that she had to swallow or understand because she's fucking different she spent her whole life being different on this planet and her well, her here and her mom wasn't her mom and she had to learn that and blah blah blah, blah. but it's like you know you with you with claude to go investigate the sorcerer stone because you also want to find out about your mom and your history and like what's up with you why are you so different and claude you should already know that claude came out of nowhere but i don't remember if claude told her that he came from nowhere because she i don't i literally don't remember actually because it's literally like where do you, what do you think he came from and the sword the warrior of light you all know the whole village literally knows that he came out of the sacred forest he but he didn't go into the sacred forest he appeared there i don't i think yeah i'm pretty sure he told the mayor the whole story um you know they always do that the first guy you kind of talk to in his jrpgs and stuff like that is some somebody who knows what needs to get done and sets you up and then you start your storyline um 
Now, if Rena got that 411, I don't fucking know. But I know that they sat down and had this talk and all sorts of So, if she doesn't know, because Claude didn't tell her. And also, she's not smart enough to pick up on that. Because everyone else, also people who have intelligence or have designers or have, like, take a look at him long enough, they're like, your clothes don't look like ours. Like, your clothes look way different. Like, because they're wearing silk clothes, they're wearing fabrics that, like, we're normal fabrics, but old stuff. He's wearing convoluted machine women and, like, stuff that they cannot do plastics and other stuff on it look at his outfit he you don't see those you don't see how different it looks in his little sprite there but at least in the new illustration it shows us how different he looks compared to everyone else and it stands that he stands out but he's a fucking idiot can't go anywhere but in the waiting room Rena left yep she so left the party Hey, what's up, guys? Come on, dude, over here. Self image training. No, so you got paid to fight for the weapon shop. Gentlemen. The Liqueur Armory contest is now officially underway. Let's get her done. The first match of the first round is about to begin. Please come up to me when your name is called. Aman Rao, fighting for the counter punch. Aman Rao. Go and die and Sweet, go. I'm first. Let's do this. Oh, God, your voice is not what I expected. Claude C. Kenny, fighting for the Savage Slayer. Oh my god, that's the name of the shop? H here Yeah, damn. <laughs> Bro, you can't be- Yay! Claude's about to beat someone up! You got it in the bag <laughs> if I'm cheering you on! <laughs> you can't- Bro, you can't be from the salvage. You can't be say so you can't have your name have fucking Savage Slayer. You go, <laughs> here! <laughs> Thanks! I'll try my best! Claude, <laughs> maybe he wasn't expecting that either. He was like, the savage what uh yeah this, this bitch what the fuck? She, that was the name of her shop what did you think it was Claude? i i i uh, i don't know y'all you can think about this her Duh. i remember we got that stuck to this potion off of her <laughs> now i'll be handing you the items you're allowed to use during battle you remember all that these are going to be the only items you'll have for use during the entire tournament yes i remember Was it a straight bottle when it said? The rules are simple, people. Two participants enter the arena. The one who falls first is the loser. We don't and have to please kill them. remember that being petrified or paralyzed will also count as a loss. Yo. This is your last chance to Yo. check up on your equipment, folks. Yo, I totally... Need? I totally forgot about that. Yeah, because if you, you can't unparalyze yourself. Petrification makes perfect sense. I forgot that paralyzed doesn't wear off. In this game, paralyzed is not something that wears off over time. You get paralyzed and you're, you're, you're paralyzed, period. And if you're in the match and it's just you alive, the enemies can just keep smacking the shit out of you. I've had that happen. Like the battles, like this game through, this playthrough, I've, I've trained the fuck out of my people. So every battle so far has just been washed. But I need to turn Are off. Are you ready for the arena? Oh no, I need to turn off the fucking level stuff. No, not yet. You son of a bitch, you better be off. Training better be off. Training better be off. Don't do this to me. I don't have, I didn't need to turn off. Oh, I need to level up. I didn't get to level up this either. So, what's the sword bomber's fire? And then, I could probably use a earth. I have a light. My sword is light. I haven't used this very much because it's the way it is. It's one v one, so I guess I could. No obsessive, baby. 
we go health oh it's health and mp all mp and oh wow either i recover all my health and my hp or i die that is one hell of a pill that is not what i expected. are you ready for the arena yes Ladies and gentlemen, after a seemingly endless wait, the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. Welcome to the Lacour Armory Contest. Second part about this compared to the other one, I can't tell how we're sitting on those stands because they're history this year, and I can hardly wait to see what kind of action we'll see on the arena floor. Make sure you keep your eyes on the field, folks. You won't want to miss a second. Because they're the same texture. They're the same texture. So the wall of the arena. We have Amon Rao fighting against Claude C. Kenny. That's the same as the stairs. I mean the seats. Victorious. It's all gonna go down right now. Now you come. You could have kind of tried to sound like the announcer from Dragon Ball Z. But it's okay. We can handle this. Yeah, we really can. Brownie? Is that what is that supposed to be? Is that the actual name of the enemy? He has a real name. They gave him a real name. The Ahmad thing, but he's actually. Anyone hurt? Nah. Just that guy was fighting. He's definitely dead. And there's the winner. Claude C. Kenny has won the first match of the first round. Let's give him a big round. I wonder if Reyna was watching out there. Nope. I wonder where she is even. Why? Wait, where's the uh, person? Yeah, what about this bell on my bell? Talk to nobody right now. Yeah, damn. What? Y'all, um, they better say they're triplets, bro. Okay. Emotional damage. <laughs> oh wait. But why? You're not. It's not. This isn't your. What? What? And you? 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 You're breaking the witch. You're breaking the fourth wall, maybe? Or are you just ob Are you just being observed? Well, when this thing you could do this wait so all of them act like as if i'm fighting for them oh no there could be somebody in the witch call somebody inside the arena nobody else is in the arena right now anyways oh oh man where is leon his mother is yeah, his mom okay that's just gonna kill my boys who cares leon's mother they, the, they, the first thing they put up there is leon's mother or I have a bad feeling of why they do that. Um, it's the other one. You know. Don't you find it funny? I don't know why. It's, he doesn't like combat, does he? So because when you don't have to use your brain to win. I mean, you come out there, you try to use a spell. <laughs> I'll zap your dumbass. I don't care. You're still the greatest guy in the world, Hall. You look pretty. You look, you look pretty tough. I don't think I can ever beat you in a fight. That's all right, dude. You ain't got to fight me. That's the catch. You ain't got to fight me. Those fighters certainly remind me of you when you were younger. I certainly was quite a passionate man among you. I like your hat. Are you kidding me? They added these people that I can't talk to you. Who care? It's just so amazing. In capital world. Is that the support? And this is a world famous. Okay. Oh, sweetie. Hey, it's you, Eda. Eda. Uh. You shed some more manly sweat and blood in the contest, won't you? Okay. Each character has their own set of different items that they can make customization with and crafting. 
why did these people randomly break the fourth wall? And they're all kids. We're members of oh my God. Sir Glorious Fan Cup. And what do you say? Should be, but he lost the first round. Oh, they. I just talked to one of them. Sometimes you'll find some new surprises by going back to a town you already visited. Yeah, yeah, that's not. That wouldn't have been helpful by this point. I would have missed so much if I actually wasn't going back. Even if I'm on my way back here, everything looks so exciting. I really should go back to Virginia and continue my research. Yes, wait, are you. Are you the bitch I'm trying to freaking talk to? It's you! You're the scientist I need. Try raising a specialty to as high as level you might it might be a nice little bonus. You! For long or you? You! 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 You're the freaking guy I'm looking for! You're literally the guy, the scientist. You, that's, you're the assistant, and he's the, he's the freaking the, uh, linguist. He's the linguist. Who's gonna help me with the ancient text? Bastard. He was here the whole time. Uh, I have heard. Actually, yeah, they actually told me he was going to be here. I've heard that certain characters cannot be in the same party at the same time. Remember these words, my kids. I heard that there are certain characters cannot be in the same party at the same time. Do you mean they can't be out at the same time, or are you trying? Are you trying to hint at the whole? Hey, you can't get everybody. Duh. But if you get somebody, you can't have the other person. I would that. There wasn't even a hint towards Diaz because Claude, well, Claude just can't get Diaz no matter what you do. Even if you don't get anybody, Claude can't, you can't get Diaz. Son, you'll have to follow your path to the sword and prove your fortitude first. Yep. What's wrong with you people? Didn't they teach you how to create, didn't they teach you how to create a ruckus? Oh, you want me to create a ruckus? Interesting. The old guy in front of me keeps trying to give advice to the contestants. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like I can expect some interesting matches. Yep. Hey, that guy who's fighting is actually pretty cute. No one's fighting right now. Are you talking about me? Ooh, I was this close to entering tournament. I was lost in the first round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Coolio. Now if I talk to her... <laughs> Thank you. Claude! Hey, bitch. Hey. Voice acting. <laughs> I won! And it was really easy. Boy, what a surprise! You were what? totally hunky out there, Claude. Storyline wise. I fell in love all over I'm again. I'm gonna bitch and complain. Because they don't let Claude be strong. They don't want you to be as strong uh, as your love. Was in this Raina game. there? Period. It's storyline. I was concentrating on your fight, so I wasn't paying attention. They're like, you should have been, Claude. Oh. We have a winner! Emma Wait, what? Rigovich has won the seventh match of round one! Show him some love, people! Wait, so there was a fight going on. Who, who is it? Uh-oh, Diaz is on the slow boat to Loserville unless he shows off. I don't that? care anymore. Claude? What? Reina. What? I don't know the guy. I don't care about the guy. He's been a jerk every time I met him. I heard from one of the soldiers. You made it past the first round. Oh, uh, thanks. Reina. I really wanted to watch, but I didn't realize you were the very first match. I mean, you could have figured that out if you would just wait or act. It's okay. Besides, you were angry at me. Oh, Diaz is up. What a coincidence. The communication. That's not communicating. That's not how you're talking about. That's not. They don't talk about what happened. The roots of. The roots of the problem and the roots of their dispute there doesn't get talked about. Period. Yeah, by the way, look at that air slash. I'll use my air slash. That his air slash looks cool than mine. And it doesn't look as demonic as it did in the PlayStation one. That's the that's the weird part. His air slash looked more like evil. Like using like I don't know how to describe it. And there he goes! 
DS Black has won the eighth match of round one. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh, he made it just in time. Hey. Let's see. So, uh, what's going on between you two? Do they tell us? I don't mean to pry, but I'm like totally interested. That's yeah, pretty. It obvious. was nothing serious. Some guy stole DS's weapon to keep him from entering the tournament. That's all. If you think you can get away with that, you have another thing coming. We'll have a lot of time afterwards, so let's get this figured out later. Wait. What? I feel like half of her sentence isn't isn't too what Rena even said. And why are we talking to her? Not why is it, well That's she did ask, you, but Ray Claude. Claude? Huh? Are you talking about talking uh, this stuff out later? I'm so confused. What's this about? Uh, pardon me, Mr. Kinney. Round two is about to get started, so could you return to the waiting room? Is she talking about the apology or something? I'm actually confused now. Why did he get red? What? Oh, sure. What just happened? Am I stupid? Go, Claude! Rip him apart! Not literally, but actually, maybe literally. Claude, do your best, okay? I'll be watching. Yeah, 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 shut up. Again, yeah, uh, yeah. Again, I'm like, I, this is one of the games where I started skipping through some of the shit because it's like, ah, you guys, you're annoying. Your back and forth shit, you're all over the fucking place. The game is all We're over the place. We're about to begin the second round, people. Good luck to all of you. Who the fuck are you talking to? There's only one guy here. Are you set to go? Do they mess up some of the translations? Best of luck to you. Thank you. Hey, look, this, this it was it was a monkey like this that was gonna beat the shit out of Arena. What a coincidence. Rina, you remember this? This guy was behind. The guy like this was behind you, and I pulled out my phase gun and I fucking blasted him the smithereens, and that's when you're like, he has a sword of light. Remember that? No, I don't remember that. At least he didn't put me down. He just did, you know, hype them up. And like, hey, you think you can? Oops. We can do this. Sword bomber. Oh wait, I have sword bomber on me. I didn't even know that. You can do that. You can do this. Damn it. Anyone hurt? Who are you talking to? You're the only one there. The dreamiest. Look at her face. I can't believe look at her what's happening. Look at her. Look at her fucking. Look at her sprite. Oh my god. Wow. My heartbeat's going crazy here. I mean, I actually did put on a little show there. A little bit. Ching, ching. The semifinals are about to get underway. You heard that Ultra Instincts. People. And you're like, oh shit. This is pre Goku. This is Goku pre Ultra Instincts. What's happening? Are you set to go? Sure, I mean, I'm, I'm best of luck sure. to you. I didn't even get a chance to go anywhere or do it. What? Oh, look, it's one of the monsters, the boss guys. Oh, this is so. This isn't a versus someone else. This is only the first round so far. I was fighting someone else. Now I'm fighting monsters. Why couldn't the first round be against monsters? If you have monsters, why are we fighting monsters, not each other? I mean, fighting each other, not monsters. <laughs> So I think because he looks like the boss monster, I was expecting to be strong. Hey, Rina. Rina. You remember, you remember, remember Alan? Remember when Alan turned into a monster that looked just like this? Remember? Remember? And he punched you? And he knocked you out in one punch? <laughs> I didn't get to record that. But it was fucking hilarious. Because I was already leveling up Claude already. I was already grinding and leveling up. So... Um, 
so I was already like leveled up past uh, Alan so I can take hits from him but he like I was attacking him he just walked away and then he just punches Rena just punches right in the fucking gut for 190 damage and kills her and I'm just sitting there like what the I couldn't help but die alive I'm like Dude, what? you were you were about to you had her chained up and all this stuff and <laughs> one of the first things you do in the fight when I'm trying to attack you with a sword, you walk past me, you're like, alright, fuck this dude, and then punches her in a fucking shit, <laughs> knocks her out, and then he starts to fight me, and I'm like, oh my god. He was like, hold on, you sit your ass down, bitch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we can handle this. The time does this fight okay, so yeah. this is so long. Oops. That was easier than I thought. I was gonna do the 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 meteor thingy. Uh, so I can pull on the fight a little bit by missing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Didn't work out that way. We have our first hey, Reno. Hey, Reno. Beat him again. Bro, Claude, you're pretty good. You freaking, you got first place. I mean, you got, you get the first of every round. Holy shit. Talk about pressure, though, actually. I can think of it. And pressure to the people behind you because if you're winning every match if you're winning every match they might just be like hold up wait a minute Bippity bippity boppity boopity poop, scoop, boopity whoop, sip, shop, skippity poop. See, I told you we were going to. Oh shit, my stream really thought it was ready. Oops, I need to turn it off. There's a test of archery, yep. Alright, um, give me the gun when you hit I forgot, I was gonna have, I could only use these things the whole time. Hey, look, it's, it's these two. Sophia, Assault Things, Diaz, and Rena, right? I'm perfectly talking. My sword, my lovely sword, is being used in battle. Thank you, Terra. The god? Yes, actually, that is what it is. Everyone looks normal. You son of a bitch, you. Everything looks normal. I'm gonna go this way. I'm trying to miss nothing. I You're awesome, Claude! I'm having such a rush right now. Grassy ass, grassy ass. Damn, why'd you walk? What? Why did you I walk? I can barely believe it myself. What the fuck? Why did... Bro, what? Why did you just do that? That was weird. That was weird as hell. Hey, you're the one that made it this far. Now you just gotta win the final. No, you're not your farther away from the person who was just talking to me. We were just next to him. Claude, what the fuck? Is, are there any positions... Are they in There's set positions? Something and, I need to ask, though. Are they in set positions, and that's why she sits there? She's there, and he had to go there because that they have spots where they are in the game based off of it. Okay. Yes. What is this? Is Diaz act? still in it? Yeah. You just talked to. Oh, no. no continuity. The smoke has cleared. It's time for the second semifinal match, and what a match it is! How do you know? Why? Why are they? Why are they hyping dude up before? I haven't fought these guys yet. These guys are annoying. You have to fight them. You have to attack from behind. Another reason why I increase my backstab. Two fighters against each other, and fate will allow only one of them to survive. Dia 
Slack has dominated every match so far. So have I. I don't get that kind of hype. Do you see what I mean? Like, how, like... That's a different kind of hype than what they were giving me. There's at least some kind of doubt in my stuff, but there's no doubt in his. And ironic, I think the damage they're trying to make him do is my normal, is my damage right now, too. He's at his peak. In this tournament, Diaz is at his peak. Because unless you use Reno, you don't get to see him fight. You get to see him fight during the uh, the kidnapping thing. And Mraz, I think the name of the town is. Um, or Kirk. No, this is Mraz. Kirk, or wherever it is. Kirk Kick, Kirk Kick, or wherever that place is called, is no longer even a city or a port because it's underwater now. Uh, gone. Most of it is, at least. There's like, there's no terrain there for them even to try to rebuild because you don't want to rebuild on that if it's already sank and been flooded like that. You, you, the foundation's probably fucked. Why did I start in the It's all over! We have our second finalist! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second match, DS Black! He's still in it. That guy is pretty boring. He just knocks them all down like they were bowling pins. So what the fuck am I doing? You don't have to tell me, that's for sure. Even I can see how strong he is. You got to see you got his dick out your mouth? What? Don't you want to win this? It's not that. Seeing how strong he is just this makes me want to put this everything whole I've got Asian into this thing. Pack. This the this whole part of him isn't his character. This isn't his character. Like I I'm think I think now that I think because I'm playing more older now, I'm saying I'm old enough now to realize that this is bad writing. That I that this is maybe how they're trying to make it seem like Claude <laughs> or Claude is growing up, but he doesn't like this. Like he's going to stay a fucking idiot. And even then, this whole strong thing is completely out of nowhere. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Like and they did that in the last part. They did this at, like in the last part, like like the story writers realized how they wrote, wrote Diaz, and they were, they had to retcon some things, or they had to go back and add certain lines, or certain things to make it seem like Diaz isn't as bad as he seems, and that uh, somehow Claude is becoming infatuated with him for no reason, like like even if he was really strong compared to me, which he's not. the switch between it makes no sense especially with the jealousy stuff and some other stuff that's going on it's like even if he's strong there's no mean you have to act like a like a freaking simp wow claude that was totally cool how you said that no no it wasn't that sounds like such a forced line just like last time he said something sorry to bother you since the final match is about to begin i'll need you to be over in the waiting room i think I think this, I think this was the game. I love the game. I remember it from childhood like a lot. But I think this is the game that made me start skipping through some story and start skipping through stuff so I don't hate the characters. Sure. Because they're so stupid and some of the storyline is so hard. It's like, I can't understand you as a person. Like I, I can't be immersed with you anymore because you're fucking weird and you're all, you're all over the place. Good. What? You can do it. You can do it. This is you. I'm right in front of you still. Why don't you say this when I'm when I'm in when I'm in the when I'm in the when I'm in the arena? This is it. Have you got all your equipment sorted out? Yep. All set to go? Yep. Watch, he's gonna do I think I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh zero damage. I think you've this kept is your side of the promise. Promise? Oh, didn't Rena tell you about it? What? Wait. No, Rena doesn't promise? talk to me about shit. <laughs> it's so amusing how irritated you get whenever Rena's name comes up. 
And it's really funny how convoluting you are when you know what's going on and you are you are actually intelligent enough and smart enough to know how Rena is perceived by the people around her and you. You know this. this is another reason why you have a level of distance and coldness towards her is because you have to. Otherwise, she will be on your fucking dick the whole time and you won't be able to get your own shit done or you have to be worried about her all the time because you are strong and that's one of the that's one of the the curses of being strong and one of the responsibilities of being strong is knowing that you are strong but that does not mean you can protect everyone and it also means that people around you can be in more danger because how powerful you are and if you are restricting yourself because you're worried about hurting your allies you are putting your allies at risk which again when it comes to the solo stuff if you were powerful enough to do it alone you he wouldn't have been in that situation with the kidnapping thing which is why i'm like what i'm saying now doesn't go with what was going on then because even as he says well, after you beat the boss there it would have been better if you and him wouldn't did it think about that then if him and claude didn't have it if diaz wasn't some jackass he'd be like if he was just actually nice and be like yeah you, you know all right cool let's see but homegirl Cecil, uh, uh, Celine is what really was irritating him, I believe, because he didn't know you. And um, and Rena, Rena apparently said that said something about you. I guess so. He was like, I guess you weren't that bad. But um, and he says you wouldn't have been a drag on him if you and him would have went in there. You guys probably could have split and did fine. But went in there. The other two, the other girls went somewhere another direction, which would mean we didn't have a healer, which actually meant I didn't have a healer because I wasn't with Rena. Literally, the only heal in the game ditched you. Anyway, so they could have done it, and also maybe if they were back at the town or checking on stuff, worried about the kids or doing stuff that way, maybe the, maybe it could have turned a little different. Maybe her dad didn't get beat up, and then homegirl wouldn't have had to heal him. And the storyline would have been weird as shit. But right here, right here, this is why he's a jackass. This is why I would say he's annoying. But I think he is, he's he's written like this on purpose, and he his, he does play it decently well because he's minding his own business half the time. And Rena is just up his ass. Like if Rena wasn't up his ass, even in the first event, we they would have turned out almost the same. But with him going out there to save the kids by himself because he'd been a jackass, and it might not have actually come out in good odds because he was only one person two people are good but again with the holding back and this and all that and if Rena went with him clearly then at that time frame he wasn't at that power level like I was saying where you're so strong that you can put other people in danger no but here they're trying to portray this him as that strong for keeps though we're in the arena Claude I'm not gonna give you an inch Expect that's fine I'll give you a couple inches me. but I went in the same side with the first guy, right? I don't remember. I think they cut that whole scene. Here it is! The moment you've all been waiting for! The explosive conclusion to the Liqueur Armory Contest! Claude C. Kenny! DS Flack! One battle to decide it all! Who will be the crown champion? Who is going to I wanted to should have changed my fucking ability. Mirror and the uh never mind. Look out, here they come! Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did he say look out here they come? Like, isn't that normally when there's a bad guy? A strong guy. Oh yeah, he has infinite health. How did you do that much damage to me? How did you do that much damage to me? I'm not missing. Yeah, I'm yeah. I can't lose oh. yet. Oh. Now, and by the way, even if I did somehow get that, get him all the way down, the game would have still had me lose. I know this for a fact. It's over. It's even if I had over. actually killed him, 
Maybe if I one shot him, the game won't let you win. So this whole time, you've actually been getting gaslit. Yeah, so this whole time you've actually been getting gaslit by the game. And this is not the first time you get gaslit by the fucking game. So all these events are going around this shit. And with the arena stuff, and you don't, the other character doesn't matter. The main, it's really the main two characters because it could have been um, Bowman. Or actually, no, you can't get Bowman before this. Uh, it could have been, um, what's her name? Uh, Cecile. Uh, Celine. Or Celine. Um... But yeah, the fight was rigged. It was rigged. It was rigged from the start. It was literally rigged from the start. Um, and you never had a chance to win because the game would never let you win. And Diaz, by the way, if you if you were Rena and you you get Diaz oh, no after way. this, what he's lower level than you and weak as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I think you get him at level like 20. I think you get him at level 20, 25. Which does not make any sense. And the fact that he's supposed to be using equipment from the shop. And that shopkeep seemed to only have given him a sword. So how are you taking these hits? How are you dishing out that damage? Are you are you the only person who actually got something that doesn't isn't qualified? That's overqualified or something like that? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. You were just gaslit. Claude. And it and, and I have to keep myself from skipping through stuff because I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from this shit. <laughs> Claude. 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 Like so gaslit the nigga knocked you out. Oh, okay. Right. Right. Uh, wait, the tournament. What happened to the finals? Oh, and Claude just doesn't remember what happened, even though it was a whole ass fucking fight. It was, even though it was an actual fight, right? They made it look like you just got just sucked, you just got your ass kicked completely, which makes no fucking sense. But even then, with the stats, how they tried to make it perceived, like if I didn't have 6,000 fucking health compared to his 2,000, which again, hmm? no, he didn't have 2,000. Yes, actually, yes, remember during the fights, we could see his health. I was taking out literally 10 to 50 times that much health and then didn't even I just put a nick into his health bar yeah yeah rigged from the start and it's all gaslighting and there's again Claude is an idiot but you gotta kind of feel for him on this part where it's like yeah man you you yeah yeah you you, you got you got cheated you simply got cheated. We could see his health. He had 2,000 something health in all the matches. But when you went and fought him, you were doing hundreds, thousands, you were doing thousands of damage and um, you barely did anything to him. What did the shopkeep give him that he could just take that damage like that? Like, why was he even in. Why is someone like that even in a tournament fighting human beings? Why are you fighting mortals, practically, when you are this powerful? What are you doing here? Why are you not over on the continent, the other continent of L or Eel? I don't remember. I got to see here how they pronounce it. And helping them on the front lines. Why are you actually. Why are you not on the front lines? Why are you not fighting to save the world? Because you got some personal shit going on? But you're fucking here. But you're fucking here. You got the time to fight me. You got the time to technically cheat, but the game cheated, not him. So, but again, with the game was trying to perceive him as being this strong, as strong as that person is, that that fight, take that fight. That's gonna be one of the strongest boss fights because you're not supposed to win. And that's what they do. That's how you will learn, and that's how you will figure out if you're supposed to win some fights or not. Is if not if you're doing zero damage, if or if it literally says you can't damage it, <laughs> or it's invincible, or it instant blocks your thing, and then it hits you for like nine 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 nine, and it's not instant; death, it just hits you for that hard. Yeah. Yeah, they are the 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 the, the developers of this game, the storyline writers of this game, do not have a. 
in my opinion, a good system to put a boss against you who is too powerful for you to beat. They, they just, they just give him, they just give him stupid stats. They just give him a bunch of stats, and they're like, yeah, you, yeah, whatever, fuck you. It's already over, Claude. I really don't care it's for this over. part. It was a whole ass fucking you fight. You almost bro. had him beaten, but he no, came didn't. back. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm oh, sorry. I don't mean to skip funny. through this shit. I don't I remember just... any of that. <laughs> fucking ridiculous, bro. Dias. I don't think you're in any shape to talk like that to me, but I'll just ignore it for now. What the fuck are you talking about? Why am I not? Why would I not? Like, I literally watched you fight against other people. How did you have so much health? How did you have so much health? What did you? What? What super pill? Did you take the super formula from from Superman? from Batman and my bad you took it from the super serum from Batman or did you get the the uh, the truth serum from Captain America because what the fuck was that bro fuck what do you, you want I thought I'd come over to thank you and why are you so mad Claude like why aren't you still dazed and confused like what happened what's going on yes but you, nigga, you don't even know what happened you literally don't know what happened you just said this you lost that's all you do know you you you, you and then she goes you you almost had him Bitch, don't patronize me. me. You were better than I ever expected. <laughs> I haven't had to put a hundred percent into a fight in ages. Fucking gaslighting. Fucking gaslighting. When you, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna Google it. Or you're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna get it right here, right now. What level do you get? He has at. Who doesn't even fucking say what level 15 years ago? What level? I want to know the level. I want to know the level. What level? Say what level? Oh, in dudes? Okay, 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 okay. They changed the the age of him into something else. But um, this the second story or in its sequel, Blue Spear, Star Ocean Blue Spear? What the fuck? It came out on the Game Boy Color in the I mode. The fuck is an I mode? It's a direct sequel designed to be compatible with the original Game Boy and Game Boy Color. It's what the fuck? They made a Star Ocean. They made a direct sequel on the original Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. The original Game Boy and the Game Boy Color. In 2001, eight years later, it was a remake for mobile phones. And then the rest of the iPhone, the iMode. Oh my. Fuck, it takes two years after the Star Wars set. Focuses on Percy and fucking Leon? What the fuck? Bro, okay, uh, bro, okay, we're gonna have- I think we, we might have a Game Boy playthrough coming up in the near future. Oh my god, what? That's interesting. And also, dudes literally, uh... Uh, in this game, he's 25 years old. Bro, Rena, get off this dick before you get him arrested. I don't, actually, I don't know if they even care about that shit. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think anyone gave a fuck about that, come to think of it. Because on his perspective, they see you as his little sister, but when they see you and how you act and how you grew up acting, everyone knows what that means like when you're a kid growing up and you're acting like this and you don't realize how much you're flaunting over someone and how much you're putting yourself in front of people and stuff like that you won't see it as you're growing up because remember she's 17 and she's been acting like this since she was a child and again another reason why i believe and i understand that ds avoids her or stays away from her in a sense because it's like for her own fucking good because 
bro, you're 17 and you're flaunting over this 25 year old. And in the second game, he's 27, obviously, because two years have passed, apparently. So that's like, okay, that makes sense. But he's fucking, bro, he's eight years older than you, pretty much. Get off this dick. And Claude, I mean, yeah, you lost, you lost the guy seven years older than you. Not too bad. You didn't. And even then, Claude, you haven't been fighting or using a sword since. You've only been using a sword since you came to this planet. We don't even know. I don't even know how many months. I don't know how many days, how many weeks, or even months have passed. I literally have no idea how much time has passed since I got here. Because we cannot trust. We cannot trust the day night cycles that we see at all. We can't count those. We can't see those because of the private events, the private actions. That girl went through all of that stuff, but let's say that the instant transmission, the instant teleport, or the the fast travel between towns, in story, we walk there, so time passes. That girl had to go through a lot in between those two places, and it seemed like days have passed, something like that, but to us, nothing. Unless, again, days pass while we were walking, then we, can't, we will never know how much time has passed because I spend time going back and forth for these events over and over and over weeks or months could have passed but storyline wise nothing's changed obviously me going through every town a hundred times doesn't make it where oh some events gonna happen now because I spent so many days doing nothing anyways back to the game me Gasly. Don't get the wrong idea. It wasn't a compliment. Okay. Okay. You're better than I expected. Okay. I haven't had to put 100% into a fight in ages. Okay. So, one of those two things, one of those have to be a lie, right? For it not to be a compliment. You're better than I expected. Okay, if that's not a compliment, you're saying that you pretty much expect me to be complete shit. So it's like, hey, you were better than nothing. You are better than doing nothing. And I haven't put 100% in a battle in ages. Are you saying that because you still haven't? And you're literally just being a complete dick through the whole sentence is just you being a complete dick? A complete asshole? Which doesn't make any sense because technically if I start fighting you right now and you ain't using your cheat codes, you would lose. Because you're not as strong as a game made you seem you are. I know because re I can get you with Arena. I'm going. I'm literally going to get you in the next playthrough. When I play through as Rena, I'm going to get you. And when I get your ass, I'm going to laugh at you. I'm going to talk shit about your ass because when I get you, I think you only have like what three or four fucking skills in the first place. My people are going to be level 50, 60, 70, 80 fucking level. Probably will grind them up to like level, the same level I got them here because it wasn't that hard to grind them up. And plus, I need to grind my people up. I need to grind the new people I get up. Um, which in that playthrough might be Cecile uh, or not. And I go and grab the other people towards the end of the game. Um, like, this whole part is all gaslight. It's all gaslight. Like, dead ass. What? What? All right. You try not to spoil him either, Reyna. It'll be better for him if you keep him on a long leash. Like this shit. What are you talking about, saying? Diaz? That's all I wanted to say. I need to get going. Diaz. Diaz. What? Emotional damage. Will I see you again? Bro, bro, get off of his dick. I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. This story is all, th these emotions, how they have this shit is all lower the fucking place. What the hell? Certainly. Did a the theater kid comes. write this story? I'm a theater kid, so <laughs> I get the joke, but it also, yeah, what? We should leave too. Bro, this motherfucking bipolar, schizophrenic, Are you sure? fucking... I'm still feeling a little lightheaded, but that's all. Must have been out for a while. Oh, that! Well, Reyna was casting all these spells on you the whole time without you knowing it. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Now then, why don't we take some of that energy and focus it on the sorcery globe investigation? Nigga, why weren't you doing that this whole fucking time? What are you talking about? 
did you did you just remember that you got your shit rocked that oh yeah that's right i'm supposed to be trying to figure out the sorcery globe stuff you fucking ass and rena rena do you have a spell that wakes people up from being unconscious or or i don't know that's the whole we don't know what happened in the battle like you don't get to ever like know how the storyline made you lose other than you got knocked out because you had you guys have seen a fight it, it wasn't it, it, so how that was going down I was like okay this is just cheap this is the, the, the game is just cheating against you there's nothing you can fucking do and even i tried to dance around make it a little bit fun and try to do some stuff but it's like uh there's no real point and there's no timer on that fight that makes it where after a certain point he goes back to being normal no you have to lose you have no choice to lose because they don't have a storyline where you win there is no you win this game is you lose the first thing to do is to go to linga and get that book of ours deciphered we were already there and the fucking dude told us to come back here and talk to the freaking guy that we never talked to, you stupid bitch. But it's not you, Rena. It's all of you. It's all the whole fucking group is idiots. Even with since uh Celine in the group, you guys are all fucking idiots. Like, how do you forget that you're doing? Alright, Linga's our next stop then. No, it's not. The guy is here. You should have you you, you were, you're at your stop. You went there, and the guy was all like, the guys at the armament tournament, you got to do to him and him. And it's like, did you forget you wanted to meet the, ki the, the, the king? That's why you wanted to win the tournament? Did anybody tell Claude, I mean, to tell Diaz that? Did Diaz know anything about that? Wait, communication doesn't work out between us. Oh my God, half this, half this video is me ranting about them. But that's exactly why my soul, that's exactly why I'm, I was playing this by myself, for myself, because it's like, god this game brings back so many memories and it's like they're not all good i like the game i love the game but it's like god damn you people are fucking stupid <laughs> i can't only feel so bad for this shit that goes on because it's like god oh damn. but before we leave we need to go claim your second place prize i don't remember saying there was a prize for second oh, place there was a second place prize i didn't know that you can need it up claude, claude? what we didn't even know it was a life and death situation but but it's not apparently right only we only kill the monsters right because i got knocked out man i didn't hear anybody going wee 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 <laughs> arena's the only healer sorry so everybody else is like in the infirmary Friendship levels indicate the relationship with things. The more hearts, the closer they are. Higher friendship levels cause certain events to occur and affects the ending of the game. Be sure to check it out. And like, oh my god. Wait. Oh, this is just grayed out. Why? Is they did it not to try to spoil the people? We got what? So I don't, I don't remember there being, I don't remember this part. This part is kind of concerning. What? <coughs> oh, excuse me. A romance. There's, did, did they add? They added a romance? Yeah. It causes certain events to happen, but, but, are you? Hmm. Okay. Did you, why did you guys didn't even think about asking for a talk to somebody about the fucking talking to the king about stuff on me? Like, oh my god. Are you guys gonna leave this place? How are you even thinking about talking to the king? Let's come in here to the savage. Is that what that's supposed to be? That didn't be cool. Sure, let's say that's what that says. The savage slayer. Oh, this says it right there. The weapon shop. The savage slayer. That is the name of the weapon shop. As you're finally wise up, you got some nice prizes. 
And money waiting for you. What does that mean? Finally wised up. What the hell are you talking about? Sorry I didn't do it well. What are you talking about? I got my ass kicked. She loves that shit. I got my butt kicked and was sweating. Yup. So she dead ass. I, she dead ass. She, she looks. She looks the fucking on it. Tell me now. I don't want that shit. What the fuck? You really just gave me this weak ass shit? Where's my... Bruh. Bruh. She really gave me some old booty and was all like, Hey yo man, you like this shit? And give me my stuff back. Look at those stats. Homeboy couldn't even if you wanted to. You couldn't touch me if you wanted to. But... That's not what fucking matters. Storylines what matters. This should be between the tournament starting and me stopping it. I hope. Alright. See you guys in the next one. Later days.